Hi, I'm Kim Bradish. Fears for a missing child in floodwaters in western New South Wales with a search underway. Two cars became trapped in floodwaters in Tullamore last night with four people taken to hospital. A five-year-old child remains missing. It comes as a severe weather warning has been scaled back, but the risk of flooding still remains across parts of New South Wales as the wet weather continues. The mid-north coast and northern rivers have been battered, but Miriam Bradbury from the Bureau has told Nine there is some respite to come. These rainfall numbers, though, a lot less than we saw the day before yesterday. That was when we saw those very, very heavy falls, the very, very high totals. In the past 24 hours, we have seen a bit of an easing trend. The United Nations investigators have found Russia has committed war crimes in Ukraine following bombings of civilian areas, numerous executions, torture and horrific sexual violence. Investigators visited 27 towns as well as graves and torture centres, interviewing more than 150 victims and witnesses. And crowds are steadily trickling into the MCG, even this far out from this afternoon's AFL Grand Final between the Cats and the Swans. All reserved MCC seats are gone, with some camping out for a couple of nights to make sure they had the best view. Cheryl Critchley from the Fans Association says pubs will be busy across the nation today. Wherever you are in Australia, no doubt there will be a pub nearby that will be showing the grand final, especially with the Swans being part of it this year. The other thing is there's a festival of football around the MCG, which is great. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank.org.au. The Swans will have to tough it out against the strongest side of the season this afternoon when they they take on the Cats in the big dance. Sydney co-captain Luke Parker says his side will be out to emulate the success of their 2012 Premiership, with Parker's last Premiership success coming that year. Oh, I'd be pretty special. Uh, I know the 2012 boys are, will be out somewhere celebrating tonight, so look, it'd be nice to join them in 10 years' time on their 20-year reunion. But look, we've got a, a big challenge against the team who's no doubt been the best side all year. And the Eels have through to their first grand final since 2009 after beating the Cowboys. the Limestone Coast forecast to kickstart your weekend. A partly cloudy top of 15 degrees expected today. Showers increasing Sunday 18 and the rain will hang around for Monday. Our listener app is your new home of radio, podcast, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now. <laughs> 